So if you watched some of my videos before, you know that I always install Windows on my Mac because I need to work on my AutoCAD project sometimes and also I play some window games in my spare time as well. But soon I realized that my storage fill up so quickly because those games that I want to install are always over 100GB each and even the 4K videos I shoot on my iPhones is a 10GB for every 10 minutes. So obviously we can't change or increase the internal storage but having an external SSD and being able to run Windows from it could be the way to go. So I've been playing around with it in the past week and in this video let me walk you through how to install and run Windows from the external SSD on your Mac and some of the things to keep in mind when you're working with your external SSD Let's get started. Now the first thing to keep in mind is choosing the right SSD which has to have at least similar read and write speed to your Mac internal SSD if not exceeded. This is important to ensure Windows or any application in between run smoothly without any interruptions or delay even during intensive tasks. So there's many options on the market or Amazon but Make sure you pick the one that support Thunderbolt standard because that offer the fastest transfer speed on a Mac. And this Zyc enclosure I'm currently using is one of a kind. It supports Thunderbolt 4 protocol which has a great transfer speed and when I pair it with this Samsung 990 SSD, the read and write speed can exceed 3000 MB per second which even faster than the Mac Mini M4 internal SSD in this comparison. This is a great enclosure for Mac and they offer 20% off now so make sure you check the link in the description. Now with every new external SSD you will have to format it before installing Windows or any application to it otherwise when you first plug in it will show a message like this. But don't worry you can click initialize to start formatting or go to the disk utilities and select the SSD on the external section. Now click Erase to start formatting process and there will be a pop-up asking two things which are the name and the format options of your external SSD. So as you see there's many formatting options but we are going to select the APFS which is best for macOS. But in case you are going to use this SSD with both Windows and macOS, XFAT could be the option for you. Now click Erase to start formatting and by doing that, the external SSD is now ready to use. The next step will be selecting the virtual machine that best fit with your need. And I made this dedicated video where I show three ways to install Windows virtual machines on your Mac. There's a free and paid options, but this time to demonstrate the capability of working and playing games uh, through Windows on a Mac, I will use Parallels, the virtual machine that supports DX11 so it can handle most of my tasks like working on a project on AutoCAD, video editings on Sony Vegas, or playing AAA game like Assassin's Creed. So click the link in the description and download Parallel to your Mac. You can try the software for 14 day free trial or buying it using my code for 20% off. So once you get the installation file, we are going to double click on that. And after a few steps, when you see this install window dashboard, we are going to change the file directory where all of the application you download to parallels will be stored. So what we are going to do is change the saving location from the internal SSD to the external SSD. So click on parallel desktop and select preferences and on the virtual machine folder section, click on orders and link to your external SSD. You can create a separate folder for parallel on your external SSD if you want and click open. Then click install and wait for about 10 to 15 minutes to complete the whole process. Now if you download game from Steam or any other game store, make sure you change the storage directory to the external SSD as well. For example, if you download game by Steam, just going into Steam settings and storage. Now from the drop down, select your external drive. If you don't see it here, click to add drive and locate your external drive. 
So now everything is on set, you might be wondering how this actually performs. So I've been testing, openings and editings an AutoCAD project and everything working great with no crash or delay in between. It's kind of tricky to notice any differences in performance when compared with the internal drive. Even gaming from small tyro like Batman to more graphical domains game like GTA V are running smoothly at a decent FPS. So in summary, it is always great to have a, a large capacity of the internal storage on your Mac. But in case you can't afford it, because I know the Apple price is crazy, right? You can buy an external SSD like this Zyc enclosures and buy a separate SSD which is save you a lot of money and then run applications from it. And yes, let me know in the comment what you think and do you have any questions. So thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye. I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you.